Welcome back guys, this is part two, maybe part three. It's probably gonna be part two. I'm just gonna cram it all in together. Last video was about 15 minutes, so that's pretty good. Uh, it could have been like 30 or 40 minutes, but we're gonna do it in two parts. So if you saw part one, it was all my moving baits. So the Arsenal of 2022. This one's gonna be my vertical stuff, and then probably the uh, BFS stuff. So yeah. Let's get started with the vertical stuff. The stuff that I absolutely love to throw. I am a vertical guy. Shaky heads, jigs, jigs, football jigs, and more jigs. Um, I just love, I just love power fishing. I like banging the banks and going, just flipping cover and all that kind of stuff. That's just the way I've grown up fishing. It's the way I fish here in the rivers and shot lakes and all this kind of stuff. So we'll start off here with. The 746 HP. This is the Champion Extreme 746 HP with a Daiwa Steez Limited ZPI edition. It's got the ZPI spool. I'm typically making long casts with this, so I wanted the ZPI high speed light spool. This has currently got on a 5H white jig because I was gonna use it bed fishing down in Texas. Never really needed it because they weren't. They were on beds, but I couldn't see them, so I didn't really need it. This is also going to be my big 7-8 and big football jig combo um, coming up here soon. Hopefully, maybe this weekend. This is an 8-1 to 1 gear ratio, 6 power. This rod is phenomenal for heavy flipping, pitching around cover, snapping big jigs out of grass. Um, I've used this for years, and I absolutely love it. Especially up north, um, if you need a little more power around docks, this is a great, great combo to use. I'm throwing 20 pound Tatsu on this one as well. So not too bad, Tatsu is a little thinner, so I don't have to worry about getting away with 20 pounds. Next up is, you can see a lot of jigs. This is the Ecstasy 725 with another Daiwa Steez Limited. This is the SV, this is the stock one, just with carbon handle. Uh, the SVs I use for all skipping and in tight, skipping underhanded skips, side skips, all that kind of stuff. This has got 25 cigar, 25 pound cigar, a Brazex. This is throwing a half, no, this is throwing a 3 8 of an ounce. Um, Omega jig, this is in the uh, Inferno Craw. This is just a good springtime craw that I'm throwing. Uh, it's kind of like a dark green pumpkin, black, red. Um, just a good spring color around here. But I'm throwing this, this is again, eight one to one. Great skipping combo because it's seven foot two instead of a seven six or seven five. Uh, I typically can skip with whatever, seven fives and seven twos. But in tight cover, this is a Excellent, excellent ride for that 3 8 to 5 8 Probably, I mean, you can get a 3 quarters if you really wanted to, but I usually stay around 3 8 to half ounce. That's why I've got the 746 for the, the bigger stuff. Again, next up is the 755. This is with a Daiwa Steez SV. 8 one to one as well with the SV purple spool. Um, I am throwing on this one a half ounce jig. This is 25 pounds Seaguar Brazex as well. This is the half ounce black blue chartreuse. Again, I like to throw the jig and I like to have multiple jigs rigged up for different water conditions and different structure. So I like to have multiple colors put on that I have confidence in. Again, eight one to one. This is just one of the reels that I use a ton, or one of the combos I use a ton, just because it's the seven foot five. I get a little bit more leverage on it. I can make longer casts, get leverage out there farther out. Um, great combo as well. Again, the bait sacks right here. Yes, you can use bait sacks for anything. It doesn't matter if it's a crankbait or a square bill or whatever. They are made to put a bait in, no matter what the bait is. Next up is a 755 again. 755. This is another Daiwa Steez Limited. I've 
got a few of them. Eight one to one, 25 pound Seaguar Braze X. I love it. This has got on the jig that I've been catching the Giants around here. This is the Omega Half Ounce in Green Pumpkin. This is the Green Pumpkin Blue Flash with a Missile D-Bomb in Black Blue Flash. That's what I caught the seven pounder on last week and I will probably keep it on because it is a great bluegill imitator, especially when you put on a, like a Bama Crawl, like an orange trailer or something like that. But again, this is another jig tossing combo here. Next up is my Texas rig combo. What do you think this reel is? Another Dial SD is limited. Eight one to one. Purple shallow spool, 22 or 25 pound um, line. This is throwing my quarters, three eighths, hash, three quarter ounce. This is on the prototype, the ride we don't speak of. This was the previous, before the ecstasies. This is a ride that we uh, tested out for a while and then the whole thing got killed because of the proprietary resins and all that stuff were bought out by another company, so. Diamonds had to do away with it, and they came out with the ecstasies. Again, awesome. This is a little bit slower action than the 735 Champion, um, but this is like a 755 ecstasy. It's a five power, super light rod, super sensitive. It's a incredible rod to throw, and throwing Texas rigs on it is a blast because it doesn't weigh anything. Next up is the Ecstasy 723. This is the last rod that I picked up. The last new rod. Um, I'm having a blast throwing it. It's fun. This is paired with the Daiwa Pixie Type R. 6, 8 to 1 gear ratio. I am throwing tubes on it currently. This will be my finesse, really light stuff, like 3 16 jigs, tubes. And it's going to be my weightless Cinco uh, rod as soon as we get to the weightless Cinco time. Hopefully soon. Uh, but I've been throwing tubes on it and catching fish on the tube, and it's an absolute blast to throw on it, so I'm going to keep throwing the tubes on it. Seven foot, two, three power. Um, you could also use it for moving baits as well, smaller spinner baits, maybe little square reels, all that kind of stuff if you really wanted to. Little swim baits. But currently, it's going to be my smallmouth wrecker here in the next month, hopefully, unless they eat a jerk bait. And then my last vertical is my football jig rod. This is another proto rod. This is a 794. So this is a great, great football jig combo. And I've got paired with the new Zillion. This is these JDM Zillion. This is the aluminum gears, opposed to the brass gears that if you buy a real off tackle warehouse, that Zillion will come with brass gears and it's come with aluminum. So it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit smoother, I think. Uh, but I'm throwing half to three quarter ounce football jigs in this ride. Incredible combo to throw as well, just because it's super light. This is 15 pound Seaguar Tatsu. Blast to throw. Um, nothing really is much about it. I, I throw a lot of football jigs, especially like Kentucky Lake. I throw a lot of stuff out in Illinois and some of the deep water stuff. Uh, Lake of the Ozarks, up north, snapping out of grass. If they don't want a giant jig, I will pull this guy out. So that is the vertical combos so those are the vertical combos um let me see here damn okay so that is it that is the vertical stuff i'm probably gonna do another video on my bfs stuff just because i can kind of break that down um a lot of guys don't know what it is and i can kind of go through it a little bit better but that is the vertical stuff on my second segment so you've got your movings, your verticals, and now your ultralight finesse BFS stuff. As you can see, I don't have a single spinning reel because I hate spinning. It's just, the, I just don't like it. It is what it is. Kill me, hate me, whatever. Post down below, flame me. It is what it is. I love throwing the BFS stuff. I'm a bait caster guy. I work on bait casters. I, I just love it. I've designed a couple of these rods. I help design them, test them, all this stuff. So. That'll be the next one. Post down below, guys. If you have any questions about my vertical stuff, if you have any questions about any anything, really, just post down below. I'll try to answer them. 
combos, all that stuff. If I didn't get to it, um, just let me know, and I'll talk to you guys later. Smash that thumbs up, guys. Share it up. Let's get this both this whole series crazy. So we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.